Hello everyone and welcome to a very strange uh, video. Today we're discussing the movie Moonlight and basically what I'm going to be doing here uh, is first off I'm recording on a webcam. I decided that I would watch uh, this new endeavor that I randomly decided to do where I was like I'm going to watch every uh, Oscar movie ever. And by what I mean by that, I mean every movie that won and every movie that was nominated for Best Picture. And I thought, hey, I'll, since, you know, Oscars are going on right now, I'll start with 2017. Uh, and this is the first movie I chose. Uh, I thought I'd go 2017, 2016. I'm going to say 2016 Oscar. I'm going to have like an intro video for this series, but... Uh, 2016, the movies, uh, I tried to watch Lion first, um, for some reason the version I saw didn't have subtitles, I don't know if the whole movie, like, I, I don't know, my version of that sucks, so I chose this as the next thing, uh, and this is Moonlight, and I knew literally nothing about this movie going in other than the cover. Um, which at first I thought, like, I didn't understand, like, what's up is with his face. But now I now I know. And uh, we're basically just going to be discussing this. Um, again, it's, I'm filming on my webcam right when I decide to do this. Um, my fucking camera battery fucking went missing. So while I wait for that to return, uh, I search my whole house. Uh, unless I find it or I buy a new one soon, I, I'm YouTube like no one gives a fuck what this video look like looks like. If anything, me recording with the actual microphone will make it sound better. I think audio quality is more important anyway. Not that this has anything to do with Moonlight. Uh, Moonlight. Uh, basically, I'm gonna go no spoilers for a little bit, and then uh, get into some spoilers. I will say the idea of this movie. I hate when people review something and they don't even get across like what it's about. This is a uh, movie about a black dude who is gay. It is a... I'm not going to be light about it. It's it's a Oscar Beatty gay uh, black movie. No spoilers. Uh, we go through three stages of this man's life. Um, we, he starts off as a boy. We see kind of his origin. We see him as, you know, a teenager in high school. And then we see him as an adult. And it's kind of like a Forrest Gumpy kind of movie where we go like, oh, this is like all through his life. And then we kind of get to like this climactic, like good place to stop. Um, on top of that, uh, a romance also blooms where his childhood friend, um, you know, it's, it's established very early on that he's gay and like, there's this weird, awkward thing between these two. Um, and it grows from there. I don't think any of that, uh, counts as spoilers cause it's all in the first act and it's all, um, probably stuff you'd see in a trailer or in the bio for the movie. Um, after that, uh, I'll get into that later. The opening uh, to this movie, we got um, Chi Chiron. 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 I'm fucking up his name really badly because um, I got his name mixed up with a Greek character that is also spelled the same way. So this movie stars um, this kid. He starts off as a kid in the beginning of the movie. He, a big part of this movie is the kind of like. So this movie stars a young black male who is the protagonist of the film, and in the beginning of the movie, um, he is in this uh, terrible environment that um, where his mom, uh, his father's missing, his mom is on drugs, it's a very bad hostile environment that he's growing up in, uh, he's getting bullied constantly um, because he's a very silent kid, he doesn't talk much, he's an outcast, he's socially like just nothing. 
I don't want to even say socially awkward because this kid has like like as bad as it can get that's what he is and so we see a big theme of this movie is kind of like society's pressure to like bubble you in so like in these um in these like ghettos or just just in general like for me uh like and i think your average like male there's like this like to be a man and it's, it's so much worse for the black community because you have to be like this strict guy and you also have to be like oh you gotta be black you gotta act a certain way you gotta do all of these little beats and i think um for Self-growth, um, my philosophy is to escape all of that and just shut that shit down, um, which I try to live my life to. But to an extent, I do think, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Biologically, um, don't, like, act like men and women are the same thing, uh, if that makes any sense. Just the chemicals in your brain, try to make them make sense. But the whole, like, oh, you gotta be a tough guy, you gotta be a feminine lady, fuck all that. And we see a kid kind of not really even understand that to a full degree. He, like, you can see he's reacting to the world around him. This whole movie, um, or at least the first act of this movie, um, I don't know, first or second act is my favorite, but when he's a kid... He doesn't say much, and we completely understand his character just by seeing the world around him. And I love that, because with with characters, usually if we just see a character out of context, like if we just saw the beach scene in this uh, movie, for instance, then that's completely out of context, and you don't understand it. But once you understand, or even like when they're like in the diner later on in the movie, um, those scenes you don't have no context context for, but once you understand what he went through, his personality, he's like this super socially awkward kid. I have popcorn in my teeth. Um, you understand him, and you understand um, being just a quiet, you know, super socially awkward kid, bad enough. And he's growing up in this environment, and he got bullied, and he's developed this super giant, like, self-defense system where he doesn't talk uh, like as minimal as possible because like we see it with his mom she will try to uh, approach him and it's probably gonna be bad we see bullies approach him it's probably gonna be bad and um, his friend uh, he has a sexual attraction towards him so he's afraid to be approached by him so it makes sense just to have this giant shield wherever you go. Um, th I think that's a good point uh, to just go into spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, you might want to click out. Um, <clears throat> we I don't I don't know if I should call him Little uh, Chiron or Black. Those three names, I, li I like that, by the way. And them calling him Little Man, uh, they're the big emphasis on him being a man, calling him Little, uh, like, not... And some people call, the one person to call him Boy was the person just, like, saying, uh, you have, to, like, fuck all this um, bullshit about you being a man and, like, standing for uh, these people. That's the one person who called him a boy, so I like that. <clears throat> and we see um, the great story with his like father figure. I'm forgetting his name. He was great. Um, that character was great. Um, you know, he was a father figure, but he was like selling drugs. And then when he grows up, um, he kind of aspires to be that guy in a way. Um, you know, he starts, he, he starts over, he doesn't have to carry the shield around anymore because this, these people that are ruining his life aren't approaching him. And he becomes not who he wants to be, but who he thinks he should be. So it's very interesting. Um, and then he gets a call from that guy, 
he's still a virgin at this point. He hasn't been with a man or woman. And his um, friend, uh, who is now a cook at a diner, which I'll get to later, he obviously, he's obviously, like, bisexual. Um, I thought even from a, when he, they were kids, I was like, okay, he must be bisexual. Uh, whereas Little is very obviously gay. And because I know multiple, uh, uh, like my mom's friend, my friends who were uh, black and gay, and they've had to deal with the whole, I gotta be a strong black man in this community, and I'm also gay. And people assume gay people are flamboyant and weak, and the word faggot gets thrown around, and it's a toxic conversation. So, uh, and, and they, the, um, the people who I know who are gay or bisexual and also black, they also have to, like, maintain that level of, like, um, I'm still, you know, I'm cool, I'm straight, like, I'm, I have, I have to act a certain way to be accepted into the black community. Um, and, like, people from the ghetto, I can't have them thinking I'm this, like, oh my god, you guys, like, I can't become that because I want to be accepted by my peers. So, and it's 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 so awkward uh, after like that beach scene. You know, they just gotta be hey friends again. Yep. Uh, and but it's like you can see it's so weird um, when two people just know so much and they are thinking so much about it, but they can't say. Um, it's so awkward, but it's so just like, ah, gut-wrenching. So, <clears throat> we had that beach scene, which was, um, great. Um, this movie has a weird thing where, um, it'll show, like, these weird, drawn-out scenes where it's, it's just, like, trying to be artistic and oscar baby. I don't really care for those. The scenes I cared, uh, like, two of my favorite scenes were them on the beach, which is just talking, um, you know, very, very straightforward, fuck these, like, are these artistic, like, little drawn-out scenes, I don't know if they're just to add, you know, some space for the other things, but it's, like, literally just, like, let's look at, uh, these characters doing nothing, or let's look at some scenery, and it'll be, like, 20 seconds, and it'll be really drawn out and artistic. Fuck that shit. Instead, we get, um, the two scenes I really like were the beach one, and then they're also in the car for a long period of time, and it's just them talking, and, like, the, I love, I like how they have Classic Man. They have Classic Man by Jadena, um, but it's, like, weirdly edited. But the scene, like, the song is playing, like, at normal speed, and they're talking, and it's, like, a believable, like, hey, they're just... Because I hate when movies, like, the cuts are different, and then, like, they'll have music that's, like, obviously background music, but when you have actual just in-the-car music, I can tell it's playing in the car. That's just more realistic environment. Like, when there's music actually playing in the background. I love that shit. So... Um, I was saying, I was thinking to myself, like, I can relate to the whole, um, you know, society says you have to act a certain way thing. I can't really relate to, you know, uh, the gay thing or the just becoming, uh, the black community thing. So I was like, I said, this movie's great, by the way. This is a great movie. But there was a part of me that was like, oh, I was like, if I can't relate to this as much as I know, like some of my friends would, um, like what, what, like what, 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 what do I relate to? Because like I was thinking, oh, I don't sell drugs, like people I know. So I was like, what, what do I, like a person working at a diner, like like I do, is that what I relate to? And then literally, like not long after I was thinking that, there's a character. He's like, oh, I work at a diner now, and I, first he just says, oh, I'm a cook, and then I was like, oh, I, what if it's a diner, and it turns out to be just this 
fucking diner, and he's like a one-man show. He's cooking and serving, and it's like, ah, oh, this is painful. This is painful, relatable. Um, just his work, which was great. The little ding, like, there's so much in that little work. His mannerisms, those were great. Uh, another great thing I want to say before I forget, I love, um, because when he got older into the adult him, I was like, because it was so great how the kids, the child actors' mannerisms so easily, like, folded into the teenager version of him. It was so obviously the same person. And then he grew up, and, you, you know, he obviously, like, became a different person. So it was like, oh... This isn't going to be the same guy. And he's not the same guy. But once he starts talking to people he knows, like his mom or um, to his childhood friend, he so easily like folds back, back into those mannerisms. And he kind of had them. He kind of had them when he was, you know, uh, trapping, right? And, you know, he was just kind of like, ooh. He was like... There, oh, there's a girl in that corner. He's like, where them girls at? He's just like, he avoids the question. He's like, uh, do you tell me? Um, you know, that type of shit. And he's obviously like a loner, even in this, uh, trap life. Um, but I just loved how his mannerisms, like how he'd like look down. Um, how he'd like, you know, just kind of like not talk much and just kind of like he'd get that kind of like, like I'm a creepy person watching type of thing, right? Um, and then the finale of the thing happened, he just kind of revealed, hey, this is who I am. You're a very important person in my life. Um, and they kind of embrace, like it cuts away to them like, in the future, like, having an embrace, and then it cuts to the beach scene where moonlight, blue, moonlight. Roll credits. It was, it was a great ride. Um, I don't, because movies to me, like, um, like, I think of other movies from this year, like, um, uh, I think 10 Cloverfield Lane, like, because uh, I'm using movies I've reviewed, is the only movie I can think of that was out this year that I rated higher than this. I rated that a 9. I'm rating this an 8. Like, because movies to me, um, this is obviously artistically and critic, like, when I, if I were, like, doing an objective review, which I hate that bullshit, but if I were to do that, then yeah. This movie does everything it wants to accomplish. It tells a great story. It does a good job, I don't want to say, like, for the greater good, but it tells a story that's important and way more important than 10 Cloverfield Lane. But, like, for me personally, movies have to be this level entertaining. And even if that means being cheaper, like, it has to be for me. It has to be um, easier for me to grab. And um, this, is, this is just kind of some of the artistic things I don't, vibe with I don't vibe with these like because very obviously I think trying to be this artsy movie and I don't really vibe with hey let's be artsy for the sake of being artsy I prefer my movies that are just kind of like let's be us and this movie you know it's great um and it is what it is they obviously wanted a very specific thing and they did that I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but Moonlight, I'm, I'm just, like, defending myself, like, saying why it's not, like, a 9, 10 out of 10. But if I were to rate it, I'd give Moonlight an 8 and the soul badge of approval. And I've been talking probably for way too long, so I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you thought of Moonlight if you watched it down below, uh, and I will get to all these fucking Oscar movies. I can't wait, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and with that, I'll leave you.